I wanted to give you just a quick impressions video, uh, a look, quick look at what the projector looks like at different points uh, in different lighting conditions. So anyway, this is what the projector looks like during, during the day with the blinds shut. So if you go and look over here, see I had the blind the blind shut and so you had standard natural light coming into the room with the lights not turned on or anything. So you can see it this isn't this isn't so bad. It could be a lot better. But I could deal with this. However, if you open the blinds you can see how how badly it gets. Blinds are now open and you have a little bit more sunlight coming, direct sunlight coming into the room. So if you look over here again, and yes, people, I do use the exercise bike. It may not show it, but I do use the exercise bike. <laughs> so come back over here and look how dark, dark and washed out the picture is. You can't, you really can't see much of anything with the blind with the blinds open and as I said I will be buying buying blackout curtains for this room but that's my number one issue and fear with this projector is that during the day it's really hard to watch you pretty much have to use this at night or it has some nice blackout curtains to go with it on to the and I'm going to show you what this thing looks like in the dark in a few tonight all right, so I put it. In, I put some of my uh, curtains up on the window. These are really lightweight curtains. They're not blackout curtains, so the room is a little bit darker now. It's a little later in the day. It's about five or six p.m. where I am. Sun is still blazing outside, but with the little light curtains up, you can see where the picture is getting a little bit better. It's not as washed out as it was before. Um, so here, I'm just gonna play a couple of seconds of this so you can see, although it still looks pretty bad during the day. Uh, at least this one little clip does because it's a 4K, but it's scaled down to... But, but it's not too bad. This is actually doable, especially, and the camera is actually making it a lot brighter than it is in real life and real life is a is a lot darker than what the camera is probably making it out to look like but if you but for again this is a 250 dollars projector so i'm gonna end the end this right here and and the next clip is going to be at uh i'm going to fill the next clip at around nine o'clock tonight and then i will continue with the review but look at that, that's not too bad. I wish I could show you guys some clips, but I really can't. But you can, you can actually see the transition from how it looked this morning, how it looked at noon where this, with the sun coming in, to how it looked at uh, 5 p.m. with some really light curtains up, to now where it's really nice and dark. And I'm gonna play that Lion King clip for you in three, two, I don't think I'm going to strike myself, so I'm just going to use my video from the other day. <laughs> um, so take a look at take a look at this. This looks really nice. It, it still looks a little flat, just because you know it's projected onto a wall. But at night, it looks really. It still looks pretty nice. And here, listen to the volume. And they just came on the scene like a year ago. And they never once talked about what the actual background is to actually be talking about this stuff. Yet people take their words as though they're gospel. I mean, and I normally. I mean, come on, that is. About my past. That's pretty. That's pretty amazing I for. Or anything. Uh, for built-in for I gotta try to figure out how to turn this down. For, uh, that, that's pretty amazing volume levels for such a small device. And again, this, and I keep saying it's two hundred and fifty dollars. But I'm also one who believes in getting my money, getting what I expect out of out of a product, no matter how much it costs. I don't believe in saying, oh, it's only two hundred fifty dollars. Therefore, it's just it is fine if it's so. I never try to push that meme so but yeah i really like this projector so far i'm i'm still returning it just because i bought the c9 i bought the c9 and uh i do want a better projector i i just kind of 
this small taste has made me go. I want to. I want a projector that's gonna. I want a full board full bore 4k hdr projector now that's a short throw projector i want to see if i can find one for 8.99 or something in the next couple of months but yeah i really am liking this experiment so a full review of this bone maker parrot one is coming out in a few days to give you just a quick impressions video uh, a look, quick look at what the projector looks like at different points uh, in different lighting conditions. So anyway, this is the Bowmaker Parrot 1. Talk to you guys later. Bye.